The Islanders will go on the road and take on the Capitals at Capital One Arena. New York has a record of 38-28-9, while Washington has a record of 34-32-8. Both of these teams faced each other twice this season, with Washington winning both of them. Puck drops tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. The Islanders were a 105 underdog in their previous game, but they defeated the Devils 5-1. Palmieri scored twice and had an assist, while Zach Parisi, Bo Horvat, and Pierre Engvall each scored a goal. Ilya Sorokin stopped 30 out of 31 shots faced. The offense have been playing well for the Islanders recently. They scored four or more in six of their last nine. New York ranks 21st in goals per game and 19th in shots per game. Brock Nelson leads the team with 68 points. Barzell has 51 and Anders Lee has 49. Barzell is dealing with a lower body injury and has no timetable to return. The defense has been average, but goaltending has been very good for the Islanders. New York ranks 4th in goals against per game, 18th in shots against per game. Sorokin has a record of 27-19-7 with a 2.39 goals against and a .924 save percentage. He also ranks 4th in goals against average, 3rd in save percentage, and tied for 1st in shutouts among all goalies in the league. Varlamov has a record of 11-9-2. 2.71 goals against and a 9.913 uh, save percentage. Dobson has 43 points. The Islanders currently hold a wild card spot. New York has a three point lead on the Penguins, who hold the final wild card spot, and a six point lead on the Florida Panthers, who are currently sitting just outside that wild card spot. Caps, well, they were a plus 125 underdog in their last game, and they lost 4 3 against the Penguins. Strom scored a goal and had an assist. Ovechkin and Tom Wilson each scored a goal. Kemper stopped 36 out of the 40 he faced. The offense have been performing well for the Capitals recently. They scored five or more goals in four of their last eight. Washington ranks 18th in goals per game and 17th in shots per game. Ovechkin leads the team with 72 points and he leads the Caps with 42 goals. Strom has 57 points and Kuznetsov has 53. Washington is 6th in the Metropolitan Division and they are currently on the outside looking in to a wild card spot in the Eastern Conference. The Islanders and Penguins currently hold the two wild card spots. The Caps are 6 points shy of a wild card spot. It's not looking likely Washington makes a postseason. You guys think they'll do it or what? Let me know in the comments section. This is a crucial matchup for both teams. The Caps and Isles are both fighting to make the postseason. Washington has defeated New York in each of the two meetings, which will make it very difficult for the Caps to win three straight against a good Islanders team. Washington has been off since Saturday, which could cause them to be a bit rusty. Goaltending has been very good for the Isles this season. New York's ranks fourth in goals against per game. It will be difficult for the Caps to win three straight against the Islanders. New York will win this critical matchup. I'm going to take them on the money line, which currently says at minus 110 for a total. Both teams have been good at keeping the puck out of the net. The defense and goaltending have both been good for the Caps. They rank 14th in goals against and 11th in shots against per game. Goaltending has been very good for the Islanders this season. New York ranks 4th in goals against per game. I'm telling you, this one will be a low-scoring game, and the under is going to hit. It's at 6 right now. I like it. Give me under 6. So the two plays we're going to go with once again, give me the Islanders at minus 110. Isles and Caps, under 6. Those are my two plays. Let's get it.